Hello and good evening people, welcome to that Friday stream and uh, last week we stayed like 6 cup uh, I haven't played real good and I try to focus a bit more tonight and uh, to reach the 5 cup so let's go for the first game and we'll play with uh, Cho And we will play uh, Inner Sang. <coughs> hey! Alright, so we have a 5 cup and uh, we have a better elo than we have. So let's see. Okay, I will try something a bit aggressive because by playing that move uh, it allows the rook to the cannon to go back here and threaten the rook and jump back and since I began with inner song situation I am able to bring the elephants to the corners so let me show you how it looks so he played the elephant to, to save the rook basically if the, there is a threat he has to remove and a good point about that is that if we take with the elephant pound take then uh, if the cannon is away we will be able to check with the rook here but before that we will take this file mm. Okay, and now we sacrifice the elephant, but still we will have a very active rook. Let's check here, and maybe we'll bring the rook there, or here, if you move the kings, depend. Yeah, here. So that's a threat on this pawn. They may be a little uh, trick because rook takes pawn, elephant takes, and if pawn takes elephant, then in that case he plays pawn here, and that's check because there we have nothing in the center. So before that, I will ensure that my cannon is ready to defend by using the knight as a support. Okay, as we said. Now he may link the pawn in order to protect them. And bringing back the rook. So the idea of that cannon move is to kind of pin the cannon so that we'll be able to play a uh, rook to that spot and if you play rook here he won't be able to bring back the cannon because uh, it's pinned so rook there may bring the knight or the quad and that's not great yet so in fact we'll use the cannon to control this row and bring back this one to the center because uh, it was attacked, sorry, by the elephant. Okay, and here you may see the weakness of uh, this pawn he had to to bring there uh, 91 97 
9197 could be an idea to uh, threaten the knight after uh, we remove this one, but it can be quickly defended by uh, by pushing this pawn to two. Still, that's a good idea, but there is a better idea, is to bring the cannon in 96, because that's two attacks, and there is like no way to, to prevent that from happening. So right now we simply gain a pawn, a guard, sorry, not a pawn, and he may try... So... I'm thinking about how it is best to take and take with the rook that's a checkmate threat but it will be a very likely uh, con uh, he will find a solution to avoid it probably bringing the pawn or either or even bringing the knight but having a knight in the center is not great for the king mobility okay uh, he missed it so that was not a great move and we'll be able to simply conclude all right so we went for an aggressive variation that uh, kind of annoys the rook a lot and the key idea was to sacrifice that elephant so that there is an isolated pawn and uh, sorry kill the mobility of that knight and that cannon and uh, everywhere so that was one quick game and yeah it may have different ideas probably uh, when rook checked the best was to remove the, the king instead of creating the weakness there all right so Let's play a new one. And we are again with uh, Cho. And this time he went for inner elephants and we went for right side or basically side elephants. We have a, a very steady player for a, a long time. He had just a, a little dis disconnection. And he goes for uh, this pawn, which may be weak if he doesn't pay attention since we have our elephants on that side. So he may yeah check with the the cannon or whatsoever and he will probably kind of play with the rooks and since we hadn't any support uh, we are not able to attack his pawn so you have to think a bit of what could be done here and not play too fast Since that part of the game is a bit 
with less material and I am able to have like quickly my two rooks active I will try to dig in that part of the game and uh, yeah, even have an, an elephant that may, de may be here I'll come back sorry for that uh, messed up smiley See, if he goes for a uh, pawn takes pawn, then we could elephant check uh, in that spot. The idea is to make that pawn move so that we can elephant check and exchange the elephant for the guard like this with this fork and that's what we'll be doing right now since it's possible so check probably the, the best square to go and since there Okay, I will get some play with the rook before so that it avoids the knight from going to the center or um, that rook to, um, to play somewhere else. Okay, let's take. He has to take with the king. He lags again. If he takes with the knight, I simply take the elephant and that's dead. So he had to take with the king and kind of isolate the king. And now. I will double the rook to attack the knight and he has to also defend that elephant. So, knight here is a move and knight here is also a move but still okay so that's a knight hanging here on I mean there's no real counterpart for him to go he cannot go here because um, the cannon is not pinned if the if the that pawn was there for example the cannon would be pinned he's very laggy and that would have been a, a good move but here there's no counterpart and that's even attacking that cannon that is not uh, defended at all so he will lose an elephant in the process or the cannon which is even worse check that's a, a small intermediary move so that if the king goes there we take on check and we can take the other cannon so the, the best move is to bring the elephant back to that spot elephant which may block the king at some point if it's stuck there because it has not great squares yeah, and he's resigning because that's way too much uh, to go. So let me show you the variation. Rook takes. This cannon is hanging right now. So we need to find a solution. And there is only two solutions. The first one is to bring the rook to that point. And the other one is uh, to let the, the cannon... but. You don't want to play with a cannon at that square because that takes a lot of time to bring it back into the game. So there's no right, right choices. And uh, the good, yeah. Hey, Olivier, not a long time, no see.
All right, so here we go for a uh, side, same side elephants, and we are playing against uh, together twenty four thousand games. That's a lot. I have I don't know like two two thousand something like this, and he opens with the knight here. The usual move is to open this file. <laughs> yeah, uh, sometimes I'm too lazy to, to spot the mate. That could have been uh, probably a better choice. You are still in um, Chinese chess, so? So the move there is to, to prevent the rook from entering the place. How far is that compared to the Chinese, the the best non-Chinese uh, player? And if there is a world championship in uh, Changi this like autumn, do you plan to come or? Are you done on the uh, Korean chess? Yeah, I I know basically the rules and you cannot like have pawn structure. I guess there is a lot of combination in openings, way more than in than in uh, Changi. Mm. Not sure what I will try hmm okay at a high level is there a big uh, ratio of uh, draw games or is it most of time win or lose Plus 88, 86. Mm. Bringing the cannon to that spot in order to give some game. And at your level, I'm not sure I prefer to try to, to use that majority here, but I have to, to be careful about the elephant. Okay, we'll try a, a little trap. He may try to go with the pawn. But yeah, if he went with the pawn, then the knight would have been trapped with simply a rook to that spot, uh, supported by the cannon. Okay, so most of the time uh, we know lose. I like the, the rule of uh, king opposition in, uh, in Chinese chess. It's way better than it is in Korean chess, in my opinion. 
because you you really can use the king as an piece to attack so here I, I will use the fact that he may want to push to threaten the rook and if he pushes then that would be a, a fork here and whatever that also uh, develops the side so he's now giving some mobility for his cannon with that piece, but that's also blocking this pawn. Carry try something he may want to bring the rook here to kind of pin but if it does that then there would be elephant check so I will simply come back and now we may try to aim for uh, another fork since uh, the elephant is now blocked. Okay, he may wants to trap the rook, but there is still a place to, to flee. That's a way to prevent the elephant from checking here. Is there a big uh, Chinese chess playing the community in uh, Canada, in Mon Montreal, I think that's where you're from? Okay. And I guess there is also more books in English, or in French, in English I would say. Okay. And you're uh, definitely no, not anymore into Korean chess. Uh, 
I completely forgot <laughs> that move. Uh, Elephant 34. Yeah, but that's. Mm, yeah, to bring the knight here after. Yeah, that would have been better. But of course, now that's a complete catastrophe. And even that knight is threatened. Oosh. Okay, let's play a bit more uh, aggressive since uh, we are heading toward a, a loss. Oh, and it takes the knight. Okay. You could take the knight like later, there was no rush to do so. Yeah, even 34 and kind of 98 would have worked way better. All right, so it goes for the elephant. That blocks all the defense and also secures the pawn in the fortress and we may have some counter attack with rook takes check and yeah that is a, a rook hanging here so yeah let's take this one Very likely to take with the knight. Mm, and we'll take that cannon. Still, we are a bit late in terms of material. But we will we'll be able to exchange a guard for. Uh, for a pawn and we may use the fact that this cannon is out of positions so rook check, pawn takes, cannon takes that's not great, what well, a check yeah So he goes for the king in the center, considering that there is a cannon aiming here. Uh, <laughs> I'm not finding it. Push, take, no. You sure? Let me get some more time to figure that. 18 2. Yeah. Uh, but if we go to that spot, then that's... So, 
the idea is to use the fact that the king is locked on this uh, file controlled by the elephant and that we have a cannon on the spot so we will move the pawn so that it still protects the square and after we will be able to take and it will be double check and therefore checkmate so pawn here we not it's not working because it's blocking the elephant so we bring the pawn here took me a long to find and as Olivier said he may try to bring the elephant and whatever it will be a checkmate uh, after and here boom since they're the king uh, so we kind of steal that game because uh, gave a rook and oh wanted to analyze uh, maybe it's still on the board before that no it's shifted ah that's the problem of the layout okay so let's do one more And we are again with uh, Cho. Yeah, that was a lucky game. <laughs> but right now that's only a uh, six cup. Of course, I'm not really focusing because of the stream, and I'm kind of playing uh, not great. Uh, but I don't resign because I know that they still can make uh, a lot of mistakes. He may kind of intermediate check, but that would not be a, a big deal. And I will use the fact that that rook is kind of uh, opened to get the control so we basically will have to um, to pin a knight and the rook in the same place and I only have uh, a cannon controlling both of the pieces and that will stay for a long time because if he moves the rook then the knight is not protected and it's long to protect the knight and if he moves the Uh, okay, the the software I used to stream uh, just crashed, so I had to <laughs> reboot it. But it seems to be uh, all right again. Check that. Yeah. Okay. I will also kind of hide my king and at the same time get some space for the rook since the rook is also uh, kind of was also threatened by the cannon. So I will bring the rook here right now so that the elephant cannot uh, jump to this side. Mm. 
Mm, the idea of sacrificing the elephant is simply to get space for the knight, because otherwise I would have to, to retreat and that may have been better for a long-term position, but I prefer to consider it a more short-term advantage. So here we'll have to be careful since my rook and my knight are on the same file so that a, a cannon does not join the party. But now we can have some play with the rook which is which was the, the piece that wasn't playing at all yet. Okay, the idea is to bring some pressure to that square. We may defend here or here at some point. Uh, but before that, we could try to attack the knight, even if it, it will be defended with the cannon. Okay, so we go with the rook here, that's a way to thread this, but that's not putting a lot of pressure and I don't know if yeah, he decides to defend here, pushing is not working. And as you mentioned, he could defend by the cannon here, but now we are able to bring our cannon to that square so that the cannon is not threatening back and the knight will be lost. And as you can see, the weakness was from a long time ago that uh, the cannon was blocked here. Mm, rook there again to prevent the cannon from coming back. Still the knight is protecting and the knight may not be uh, kicked uh, directly. So that's time to take. I'm taking with the cannon. I may uh, take this pawn with the cannon so that I may have the cannon for the knight and a guard and there is already a lot of um, pressure to that side of the fortress. Let's go. And let's check.
and back home. And at some point we may even threaten the cannon by simply removing our back to defend. In that game I left that file without my cannon because I had I needed to do something else, but still it may be defended like this. So Plus eighty seven. 84 Yep Get some time uh, 84 here The idea, now uh, the problem of that is that if guard takes, rook takes, then uh, cannon takes rook So that's not checkmating Looking for a combination, but I'm not able to find one. I will simply remove the rook so that the cannon is not pinned. Uh, 6685. I thought about it that we, uh, I can show you after that, but that that's not working because of a, a small detail. So he's uh, weakening the structure by doing that. His hope was that I didn't see that my elephant was threatened, or that my rook were threatened by the elephant. But here the square is now kind of weak. He may try to go back, but there will be some attacks at some point. And one move before attacking for me may be to uh, you know, release the pressure from the cannon right here. Yeah. Because his cannon won't be able to reach this file quickly. So that's safer to defend before and after that cannon takes, cannon takes, rook takes, pawn takes, rook check, one square left and there's no way to conclude. So we'll threaten this rook, it will have to flee to one of those squares and then some pressure again with the cannon. Yeah, so that's the, the safe move to bring back. So that's pinning his cannon and they may be a, a very beautiful checkmate if he doesn't pay attention.
Ja. Uh, yeah, I think that right now it may have worked. Uh, we can see it uh, after. Okay, not great, but that's also giving some play for the elephant. They may be a, a repetition pattern, but here in that case, uh, I am uh, faulty. Um, still, he didn't went for repeating. So I'm cutting the defense from that rook. But he won't sacrifice the rook since it's a uh, hold held by the by an elephant. It's time to retreat. Yeah, you think he would have been faulty? <laughs> I don't like that repetition rule because uh, yeah, we we can check that after. Uh, I thought he would like kind of play the the guard somewhere else in order that pro to protect that elephant, but here uh, the. There's no protection. And the compensation of the fi okay, that's it was to hide the king, but that's not. Great. If nothing happens, we may have a, a kind of skewer with the cannon. Yeah, cannon check if the rook is not there anymore, or we will use the cannon to bring back to the center. Mm. I think I will just bait the knight and hopes that it takes it. All right. Okay, so that's time to retreat this night. I have to mind the the cannon in that position. <coughs> he could kind of uh, pin a rook directly. So we'll bring the king back to the center.
Okay, now we are breaking those two pawns. That will be hard to defend, and of course our knight is protected by the other one. Check. We may play cannon check before. The knight here was threatened, and that cannon, uh, that's good to attack him, and if he defends like this, we simply take the pawn with the other knight, and they were already protecting each other, and right now that's the, the same, because they both moved. And the elephant here is now weak. Okay, so simply take. Oh, and the knight was already protected. Kind of forgetting to pay close attention to what happens, but the game is kind of over right now. That's for rook takes, but we have the knight, and if cannon takes, then we take with the knight, so no worries about this one. That's good. If he takes the knight, then rook here, and that's checkmate in uh, no, that's not actually. <laughs> he can uh, hide the rook. If he takes, simply checkmate directly. Mm, that's the same. If he takes, checkmate. And that will enable us to do kind of checkmate, of course. He blocks the threats. The problem is that uh, he hasn't calculated that his king will be forced to to reach uh, that file and then the protection of the rook is falling. 
they may also have been a checkmate somewhere. Uh, let me see. Check, check, check. Yeah, no, I will simply take and think uh, the simple solution. Okay. Retreating is not doing anything. You can check. Oh, I simply take this one. No need to go for complicate solution. All right, and he resigns. So let me show you before. We may want to do a combination so that get. It was a lot of moves. Uh, no, I think that was after that. Yeah, here. So the problem is that uh, we can take. If he takes with the guard, of course, rook takes. That's uh, winning for blue. If he takes with the cannon, we may think about sacrificing the rook because uh, we are able to gain another rook since the elephant is not defending. But the problem is that even if we win the rook, since the cannon is ha uh, hanging, that's not a great advantage. And the problem of that was because of the cannon uh, hanging here. Otherwise, the sacrifice was uh, working uh, very well. So that's the reason why I didn't play uh, 66, 85. Knight takes, but therefore uh, retreat. And he decided to repeat. No, bring the rook here. So yeah. I think he should have gone here because that would have forced. If he went here, so I think in that mode there is repetition. Yeah, so that's simply analysis, so it doesn't count the repetitions. But one of us wouldn't have been able to, to repeat, so check. And very likely, since we have an advantage, the knight we gain, try to go for um, the exchange. And at some points here, he could. Yeah, no. Mm. Yeah, not the best. Mm. Because on the rook there, the rook is not doing anything great, and if I push a pawn, and then I lose the defense. So here, of course, the knight is protected, and may go again for uh, uh, with the cannon like. Here, uh, I may go back there, so check. Yeah, that's forcing the extent of the rook in a great position. Can uncheck, and the only square which is good is to retreat here and taking. takes and of course here we have a, a way better position simply bring uh, I don't know link the pawns and uh, get some play with the knights or even uh, no there's no way to extend those rook this knight uh, has to be uh, considered with caution because it has no square to retreat so maybe the best move after is to give uh, a square for the knight but still the the cannon can come back here and that's losing for blue. However, 
So we won four games and we'll play uh, last one. Uh, sorry. No, I don't think there was a, a checkmate in one. Eighty-two, eighty-four. Okay, and finally we are with uh, Han. And I go for inner elephants. Threat to, to win a rook and also a threat on the knight. Of course, that's giving the center and boom. Okay, check. So, if we move the king somewhere else, he will bring the cannon there, but I'm okay with this. Or I could bring the rook. Okay, threatening again. But now I go to a place where it cannot be attacked. It was not, I think, the best move to bring, so let's check. Okay, why not? And now we move the king somewhere else. Oh! I missed that one. Uh, that's a great move because it's it saves the rook and my rook is threatened. So yeah, kind of lost a lot of uh, advantage in that position. And I don't even like the the counterplay that he may have Okay, uh, I even saw that there was a, a checkmate here. But thanks for, for checking.
Yeah, of course, that's game. Yeah, looks like I will be losing something. No! I wanted to bring the knight. Okay, so we are a knight down right now. That's a small double threat here. If he goes with the knight, then I could cannon check, check and take. May check, but we still have a square to, to go. <coughs> the idea is more to bring the rook here. I don't have time to, to take that elephant. I prefer the the counterpart of sacrificing since this file is pretty weak for him and I'm not with the advantage in terms of material I have to to try to dig somewhere and we may have something here actually because the knight can't be brought 
the rook can't take um, and the pawn cannot go here I mean you can that's not checkmate but that's losing directly a quad which may be the best situation sometime so we'll have to think about it okay elephant here I was thinking about this one Cannon takes, pawn takes, rook check, king here, and I'm not able to take back the knight because of the elephant. Uh, but still, I think that's the, the best to do to remove the quads. Okay, so he hasn't taken the cannon. The idea is to bring the cannon back to that position and I think he had, it would have been better if he simply gave the elephant because my two cannon would have been out of position while here uh, he will pay a, a some price for letting that happen because if he brings the pawn there then rook takes check and after the guard falls uh, to rook takes and yeah, the knight has to join and that will be a complicated defense and if rook defend then simply push the pawn and the rook is dead. He may also yeah, try to go for the pawn. But in that case, if it takes is likely the best. Rook takes check is kind of annoying, but he he missed it. So I'm back to that file, and what's come next is Rook here, threatening to checkmate with diagonal, and we also have already the the cannon supporting those square. Of course, we cannot checkmate because the king is here. Rook here is a bit complicated to handle and even if the, can, the king goes there it's not possible maybe the best defending move is to bring the knight here but you don't like to have a knight in the center of the fortress most of time Four sixty-six. Yeah, knight here, as we mentioned. Bringing the rook here doesn't achieve so much because there's no like any more support. But I 
the cannon can be of great help in a, if there is a sacrifice or if the cannon goes back and check uh, sorry one zero one three yeah nice move all right and now we simply check And the best is likely for the knight to come back because if the king goes there then that's a free guard yep no I don't want to move this pawn and here We use the kind of pinning discovery and there is a threat of a checkmate in two moves if uh, it doesn't defend and I'm not sure there is a way to defend it let me check hmm. okay that's a, a way to defend the checkmate Poof. Poof, poof. Mm, he can take with the guard since the rook is providing a defense. Before that I want to kind of remove the rook and I cannot bring the knight here because that's rook check so pawn yeah I think that can't be bad because that whatever if my rooks now moved after they won't be that Annoying rook takes pawn check and the pawn here is well supported. And if the rook goes here, we have, for example, uh, a discovery and we gain the rook because cannon check. Uh, but I'm trying to see if there may be something better to try. What if I push the pawn? No, I will go for this. Boom, check. Alright, and he resigned because what was coming was night here. Takes, takes, and since the two cannons they won't, will have less and less play because of the end game and with the rook that's kind of unstoppable, especially with only one guard in the fortress and uh, an elephant that can uh, quickly uh, join. Uh, sorry, I messed up the squares. All right, so we did it. We got the, the five victories and now we are five cup. And as you can see, it's uh, seven victory right now to be able to be promoted four cups. So next week, uh, we won't play the, the seven games, I guess. All right, uh, thank you then for having following the stream I wish you a good evening and um, I'm not sure if I will do the puzzles tomorrow or Sundays it will uh, depend but whatever uh, see you goodbye